Hey, it's Wabbit. Hope you're well. All right, so this is going to be a bit of a mess around, part of a kind of a setup. Um, and really the goal, again, is just to inspire you to try and do something a little different. Maybe you've got uh, gear, apps that people say, no, you're not supposed to do this. And I'm here to say, yes, that's the fun of all this stuff. And what I'm doing in this particular case, I'm using Remix Live on the Mac. And I'm controlling that with two MIDI controllers. Uh, both of them are plugged into the Mac. Uh, via USB, and I'm just going to go ahead and play, and then uh, I'll I kind of talk you through the setup and a couple things and the settings in terms of how to do the MIDI learning. This is not an in-depth tutorial, very high level. This should be about having fun, and let's just uh, see what happens here. Let's have a little fun here. <laughs> So what you're looking at here again is Remix Live, and basically I've got the Launchpad uh, Mini MK3 here, and that is controlling the different pads on the application via pushing the various buttons here. There's a lot you can do in here. I'm going to do very high level. Basically the session uh, corresponds to the, um, the grid layout here. Let me get rid of this here on the, on the screen. So the uh, kick represents one column, which is channel one, snare, etc., and that matches even color-coded. What is white is currently playing, and then if I were to tap that, so let me bring up the kick. When I tap that, stops, or I can use the control over here to control the volume. I'll get back into that in a little bit. And then you can see on the top here, it basically just has your BPM, your beat sequencer kind of going across here. You do have the option, uh, the drum pad corresponds to the sequencer uh, section here. The keys represents the drum pad, though it seems kind of bizarre. And then the user button here is to the song mode. I haven't really messed around uh, much with this. The other thing that I found that was interesting uh, make sure I get this right. So the filter section, um, let me turn this up a little bit here. 
I can control the filter. So if I wanted to come in here and change the filter to delay. Now, personally, I'm not a big fan of using this for that, but you do have the option uh, if you want. But I kind of stuck around here in the uh, session mode. There's a lot of different things you can do. What's cool, though, is when I plug this into the computer, Remix Live read this and it already had everything mapped out for me. So that's what I want to walk you through. Let me go ahead and just stop everything. I think we need to hear that. So what I did was, is uh, over here on Remix Live, the little settings gear icon, uh, come down here to your MIDI devices. And when you click on that, uh, again, by default, it had a Launchpad uh, Mini MK3 here. Um, and I just chose the um, Out selected. And then Launch Control XL was here. I had to tick this box. And then when I click on the mapping, I click on this setting here. Because when you let me come back so you can see that. Here's the built-in mappings that come with Remix Live. So APC Mini, uh, Launch Pads, but I didn't see Launch Control. But once I plugged it in, it allowed me to, back at this screen here, to do some mapping. So when I click on this, then I click on these little setting icons. Then you've got an option here of what do you want to map within Remix Live. So for me, I chose the mixer. And again, uh, the kick snare represent each channel. So the channel one is your kick. And then basically what will happen is mine was blank when I started. Uh, and I just clicked in a box. And then I would just move a, a fader or a knob to do the programming. So in this particular case, for the volume... I used the, this first fader here, and then I just went through all eight channels. Um, the other thing that I could do um, is maybe throw in the MIDI mix here to get the other uh, options or different parts of it. But again, I was just trying to test that. And then just to kind of show you, uh, so the volume, so again, here each track represents, uh, the, each fader represents, you know, track one, two, so forth and so on. Um, and then the EQ filter, I can control the filter. This is kind of reminds me of uh, doing the bedroom DJ hobbyist thing where I can, I get a song going and then I can kind of bring things up. And that's why I was drawn to doing it this way versus using uh, that uh, on here uh, for, for that effect. So that's how I set uh, this up. The sky's the limit with this. And again, really the purpose was to try and help inspire you with whatever gear kit you have. I mean, you can jam on gear, you can jam on the iOS or Android, you can jam on your computer, but why not see if you can do something a little different? I, again, I get it. This is really more for the iOS platform, this Remix Live, and I have several apps that um, I have on the computer that work this way. So that's it. Um, nothing fancy, nothing exciting, but I just wanted to kind of share this with you. Take it for what you want. Get out there, do something, have some fun, jam. To me, this is this is awesome. Um, I al always recommend recording something because you never know what you're going to come up with. It might be a catchy little tune. But uh, bottom line, this got me excited, and I wanted to share this with you. And I, and I, I really do hope this gives you uh, some ideas to take a look at your inventory and do something a little different. I think it kind of keeps, keeps us motivated. It keeps us energized. It keeps us from getting burnt out. Hey, I can do this. And again, I don't need to do these two controllers. I could probably just get away with one, so maybe you're comfortable with using that. Anyway, that's about it. So uh, I hope this helped. I hope this gave you some inspiration. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I don't know if I can answer everything, but I'll do my best. And uh, that's all I got. So uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Get out there, create. Don't hesitate.